We are live, folks. Hey, uh, updates. Updates and updates. Anyway, uh, I'm leaving this location and going to a new one. Um, without, well, first of all, I had to call the place to get permission. You get, get that from the towing company. How about that? So, anyway, tow company had to call and get permission before I could come here to this new location. So, anyway, so that's the scoop. And I'm leaving this because this place don't allow you to stay here that long. They don't like you making a regular camping site out of the out of this area. So you start talking too early. <clears throat> Hello, Davy. Did you get? Oh, we're getting towed in the next hour, and we're going to Wally World. So that's where we're going. So that is the scoop. But anyway, we fixed, well, what we thought, we thought we fixed it with uh, putting the fuel pump in, and it didn't work. I mean, it worked, but there's there's more wrong. It's I'm pretty sure, we're, we're pretty convinced that we tried to get some codes. We couldn't pull up any codes, so that usually says one thing, but we're going to do more investigation into it. But, but anyway, um, I think, or both myself and... Chris think it's the ECM, which is the main computer. That's what we think. But we're going to do more investigation into it. There there can't be too many other options, you know. Um, there's a fuel pump regulator, but I don't think it's that. It could be the map sensor. Um, could be that, but I doubt it. It just, it, it the, the symptoms lead to the main computer. It's just the symptoms. So, just like when you're sick, you got to take symptoms. So, it's the same thing with this. So, yeah, change the engine. Yeah, so I don't think we're doing that because uh, that'd be a big expense. It wouldn't be worth It'd be so much work. It, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be worth it. It's not the motor. It's not the motor. The motor's not causing me the problem. It is a new motor. That's the problem. It is a new motor. Wires cause it to run. No, nah, spark plug wires are good, man. We checked all the spark plugs and the wires and the cap. All that's been checked. How much longer is Cracker Barrel? They're not. This is it. This I should have been out of here at seven this morning, but they didn't. They didn't complain too much. They really didn't say anything to me, so I let them know that you know. Yeah, you know, I, I think I probably could have stayed a little bit longer, but. Be honest with you, I want to be. I'd rather go to Walmart because Walmart lets you be there. Because I called Walmart, and they had no problems with me staying there for any length of time. They didn't care, so that's the good thing there. So Wally World, it is, and plus it's a lot close to my doctor to there. And I got, and I got to, you know, here's the thing. I, you know, I got to get to sleep because um, I can't stay up too late. I mean, I seriously got to, I got to be at the doctor's at nine in the morning. So. 9 a.m. That's that's the scoop there. So, so you got stuff tied down. I put. Let's see. I, I put away so. So stuff don't get thrown around during the. No, I mean it's. I I think I'm good. You know I I got. There's sleeping bla uh, blankets here. Um, I don't think the TV's pretty well situ. Everything's situated in here. Um, nothing's going to fly around at all. Um, not at all. Cause I, I pretty much have it situated just like I did last time. So, um, I think we're good to go here. I, you know, I, I, I worked on it, you know, earlier. So I worked on it at like four 30. I figured I was going to tow out, you know, I, first of all, we got the thing, um, put together and I drove it and, uh, it was the same thing. So. So we both talked about it, we, but we tried to we tried to pull up the codes and nothing came. We couldn't even get codes to come up. Well, usually you could come up with one code that says your ECM's bad, but we couldn't even get that code to pull up. Um, so I'm gonna look at getting a uh, a device, but I have to order it on Amazon. So through Chris's uh, account, and then we'll have it I'll have it shipped to his uh, house. And uh, then we'll get it there. So what are the uh, RV is not does not have acceleration at all. None. 
No acceleration whatsoever. That, and I just put a brand new fuel pump in, $200 fuel pump, and a nice one too. I got it at a good place too. Not not a crappy or a, it's Vance Auto Parts, so it's it's a good one, man. And we put a new fuel filter in there too. So yeah, so there we go. Tow truck's on its way. The first one came. The first there was actually a tow truck ahead of this one, and he had it was too small. I'm like, come on, guys, man, get it together, man. This is a heavy. This thing weighs 12,000 pounds, man. So, yeah. So, but, yeah, this this other guy's got a heavy duty. I let him know, I, and I need a ride. Um, so, I got to get the ride, you know, in the tow truck, too. So, I let him know that uh, I need a ride. Because some of these mechanics, or some of these uh, tow truck drivers won't let you ride in their truck. So, that's kind of the problem, too. But, this one will, as long as you got the mask. So, that's why I got my mask in my hand, so... Keep it clean over. So, yeah, I want to get to sleep early, too. So, that's why I came on now. So, um, yeah, I came on now. Let's see. Have you tried? Yeah, we tried a real mechanic. Yeah, he effed it up, actually. The real mechanic left bolts. Go, the bolts were missing, like, five. So, we first, no vacuum leak. Nope. Check the vacuum. That's good. It's all good there. So, no acceleration. There's another. You can't hear anything leaking whatsoever. It's you know we. Chris took a look at it. Took he's a pretty good mechanic actually. He's better than the other guy. The other guy really effed it up. He lost five of my bolts to bolt up the uh, the gas or the gas tank. So we had to go out this morning, him and I, and we had to go to um, where do we go? We went to uh, Ace Hardware to get the bolts. So we were able to get the almost the identical bolts that were missing off of it. So, so that cost like fifteen dollars for the bolts. That dude, that guy, the guy took my bolts. I know he did. He was a jerk. He didn't show up for two freaking days, and then he calls and says, "Oh, I might show up tomorrow. I might show up." He says, "Might," but then all you know, half my stuff was missing. You know. You know, all my bolts, my washers, all that crap. So we had to get all that. and So that's an extra cost, you know. What a jerk. He didn't know what he was doing because he he's the one that said it was the fuel pump. He, bl he blamed the fuel pump and the fuel filter. That's what he said. But it was, I replaced both and guess what? Same result. So he was wrong. He was totally wrong. So I'm pretty sure it's the ECM. I'm pretty sure it's the computer. The main brain, because it's original brain that's never been replaced. It makes sense. You know, it's been, this thing's been down dirt roads and it's been through a rough haul, tell you that much. Uh, yeah, I paid him. For not, not, I paid him to do the, um, well, I paid him for his diagnosis, is what I did. So, so he got paid like $200 for the diagnosis. To diagnose it, and he diagnosed it wrong. So yeah, I like my money. I'd love to have my money back, but the jo the guy's a joke. I told you it wasn't a fuel pump. You know what? It's just because I never replaced the fuel pump, so that's why I did it. And uh, so anyway, I did, and I and I know I did the fuel filter. So, but we did it again. So, I don't think the other one was really bad. I saved the other one. So, but anyway, that's a scoop. Anybody listens to Ray Ray? Yeah, Ray Ray might, uh, you know, he was, well, put it this way. We're going to, mobile mechanics are a scam. Unfortunately, I couldn't, if you take it to a, a mechanic like a shop, then I can't live out of it. And, I, and then I got to get a motel and screws everything up, you know. And then, then if I get it, you know, then, you know, you get it back and then they tell you, hey, we can't figure it out, you know. Did you check the air filter? Yeah, we checked the air filter. Yep, sure did. Yeah, we thought about that. That was the first thing we checked, Janice. Very first thing we did. We checked that. Low compression. All the cylinders are good. We checked the compression in all the cylinders. They're they're freaking high. They're really they're they're high cuz they're they're right up there. Yeah, they'd be almost as high as me if I if I eat some more marijuana, but 
we're not going to do marijuana tonight, I don't think. Not tonight. It's We need to get Tasha out there to fix. She ain't going to do nothing for me. She ain't going to do anything. But believe me, she ain't. She's not. She was, She. you know, she's just not. I've never had a mobile mechanic get it right. Well, Chris is pretty good. He he pretty much was checking the, the everything on it and uh I think I think we got it almost dialed in. I think it's I think it's pretty much the ECM. Let's see here how's your solving the black tank issue by going to Well it doesn't for one, but but I we got we, we I do have um a tank. A forty two gallon uh Barker tank which I could dump um probably half of it into the Barker. I'll try to dump half of it and see what if see if I could do that. But I already bought a device to empty the black tank, but I'm just gonna dump about half of it in there. At least I'm gonna try to. Um hopefully the handle will I'm not gonna pull the handle all the way out. I'm gonna pull it partially out and then I'll push it in. I just wanna get half of it out, that's all. Figure half of it. I don't know. I don't even know what size that that uh, the tank is. To be honest with you, Tasha. I don't know what Tasha is. You guys tell me. You guys tell me. I don't know. I guess you yeah, get that's something you got to ask Tasha, right? Tasha gets very, uh, very, very. Tasha's very sensitive about that subject. Let me tell you, that's one of the main reasons I got bashed. You know, when I was out there at courtside. So, you know what? So that you know, it's funny. Nomadic fanatic actually, I left a comment in his channel, and Nomadic fanatic actually responded to me. That was a shocker. He he was in Scottsdale, and I told him, I, "Why don't you call me, man? I know everything about Scottsdale. I grew up in Scottsdale, man. Nobody knows anything more than Scottsdale than me. I got here in 1966. How much? You know, there's only forty thousand people." total in the whole phoenix area so i told a man i go you 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 went to the wrong freaking town i mean i'm not saying i said you should have went to north scottsdale eric you should have went to cave creek i i could have show i could have you could have picked me up i could have showed you so much more in in a little bit of a time because he doesn't he doesn't know he doesn't know how to get around here he doesn't know this town. He don't know how to get around. He don't know where he's going. For one, he's scared. I don't blame him. You know, he don't. That's why he contact me. I'll I'll guide him to some really cool spots. He could have got some really cool drone shots from from all the places I know. And uh, yeah, and he could have transferred that stuff to me, and I could have put it on my channel too, so so everybody else could see as well. So, but it didn't work out that way. I'll be in Scott still. For the TPC, I wish I could go. I just don't have a way to... I had to get a new walker today because Chris accidentally ran my other one over. He ran over the wheel and crushed it. So I had to get a new one, man. $100, $108 later, I got to, had to get a new one. Airflow or oxygen sensor? You know, I, I mean, that's the uh, max air sensor, I think. Yeah, max air sensor. I forget what you call it, but... I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I would I would be willing willing to say that that it is the computer, main computer. Um he's my Chris is going to look into it. We'll we'll see. We'll figure it out. It's not it's, I'm going to go to Walmart and I can camp there and I and I could sleep with no problems there. I've been here for so long. I need some I need some place new, you know. I need to go. I just need to get out of here. I've been here for so long, too long. I, I want. I'll, I'll like Wally World. At least I can drive in their parking lot. At least I could go grocery shopping. At least I could pick up my medications. So those. That's and then I could get Scott to deliver the Barker, and and then I can empty the Barker or my black tank into the Barker. So we can. I could do that. Excuse me. I can do that because I know how to do that. See, I know all these things. See, I I know how to RV. So, I've been doing this for four and a half years, going on five. So, I know a little bit about this lifestyle. Just a little bit. I know a lot about camping. I used to work sporting goods. 
And I used to like working that department because I could tell, I, I used to like telling people, families are for the first time going camping, I'd tell them exactly what they needed, you know. They loved it. And they went out camping. I said, come back. Come back and visit me after I gave you all these tips and you tell me if I didn't tell you right. Because if I didn't, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll definitely go over some more things with you guys. They came back and said, no, no, you, you were good, man. You know exactly. You told us to buy the better, you know, tent stakes. A lot of people buy the new tents. And they got those little cheap tent stakes, you know. And then they buy the crappy hammer, you know. I said, no, 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 no. Just go buy the regular hammer, a real hammer, you know, with some weight in it. And then and you hammer the damn things down. But when you hammer it down, don't go straight down. Go on an angle. Because sometimes you're hitting rocks. So if you hit, if you go on an angle, you can slide through the rocks, you know, and get a better grip. And the tent sits down better. So throttle position sensor. Throttle position sensor. That's a... No, not the timing. It's a, it's a brand new motor, Janice. It's a brand new motor. We, I just had a tune-up on it. So, I know it's not that. It's throttle position sensor. I mean, that's... That's that's a not... That's, see, that's something... The max airflow sensor, I think... You know, because there's no power in it, you know? There's not power. You know, there's no acceleration. You know what I'm saying? So, does the throttle position... I'll I'll go over it with Chris. We're I, I'm gonna try to order the the thing that that actually pulls up the codes. It's about thirty bucks. Yeah, unfortunately, where I'm parked, lot, it's funny tonight. Yesterday there was no RVs here. Tonight, it's like the whole parking lot's full. Figures, now, you know, if I need a truck to come in or or, or I, when I need when I get the. Uh, the tow truck, you know, I, at least I have some options. I can move forward so the guy could actually slide in and get me get me out of here. So so we'll play it. Let's see, I looked it up. Uh, said six things. It's ma max, mass airflow. Let's see. Davey has been, Davey has been at Cracker Barrel for so long. They're going to ban him. Up. They want me out of here. They really do. They really want me out of here. But that's okay. You know, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I, I had dinner here tonight. I had chicken, two pieces of chicken with um, boneless, boneless, you know, breaded chicken with mashed potatoes, gravy, two rolls, and a salad. That's pretty good. Some iced tea. Yeah, so that, that wasn't bad. So, yeah, I told him, I said, hey, you guys, I know you guys want me. Give me your manager over here. So he came to the table. And I said, "Hey, you know, I, I know you guys. I know you guys want me out of here, because yeah, you've been here a long time. We don't like people making a living. You know, like we don't like people living in our parking lot." I said, "I'm not trying to do that." I said, "It just happened to be that way. When your RV breaks, it's kind of like you know, and you know." And I, I told him, I said, "I just spent what Chris worked on this thing for a long time, taking the whole gas tank down. The other guy screwed it up actually, because he." He took half of it, and then he left the bolts, and then the bolts were missing. So, we, like I said, we spent two hours just getting the bolts this morning. That that held things up, too. So, what a bummer, I'm telling you. Been through a lot. Cracker Barrel food is... No, I like Cracker Barrel. It's good. I, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy with eating here, you know. it's. But I got, I'll have Walmart, and I'll have... Um, uh, anyway, I can't go very far, so you should... Tell them to hire you. I don't want a job. I don't need a job. I don't have to have a job for one. So thank God I don't, you know. It wouldn't be bad to make a couple million dollars, huh? You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, go buy yourself a million dollar RV and go go to Quartzsite. You know, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of Quartzsite. I've been out there. Let's see, Davey, the the combo. You had with the manager has changed several times, so we don't know what the convoy really was. Let's see. Okay, the it's like me go meeting with the Cardinals owner because you know, and you know the the owner of the Cardinals is pissed off at the coach. Let me, I'll tell you that much right now. He's pissed off at the uh, general manager too. The Cardinals should have done a lot better than what they did this year. They had they had the team. 
They had all the talent. They had it. And this day we did the pinch the nose during your... No, no. We, I, I, you know, he... I probably could have stayed here, you know, because um, he met me and he understood. I said, I'm a hand he saw me how I was handicapped. He felt bad. He felt really bad. It's like trying to talk to a pinball machine. No, the, the, there's a bot in here. Oh, you want me to take out that bot? Hold on. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you noticed that. I got I got rid of it. I, I I forget that those are bots. So so I got rid of it. It's gone. It's out of here. Adiosa, adiosa, amigos. Yeah. Sayonara. We said goodbye in Japanese. Sayonara. But anyway. So anyway, I'm working. Let's see who got. Uh, who got banned? Um, the bot. The bot did. So, the bots. Adios, out of here. You know. Let's see. The that particular person is that is the end of the RV. No, 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 no. It's not the end of the RV. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be all right. Just gotta take a chill pill. See, he usually blocks several people by. Davey, you could still use your restroom. You, well, see, here's what I do. Yeah, I could still use the restroom. I still got two inches left in it. So, yeah, but I just don't pee in it. I piss in a bucket and I spew it out. I take the, the piss and I throw it out. See, piss is nothing but. See, if you mix, mix piss with water, it's good for the plants. It will. It, it's good. It's nice. I think it's called what's that nitrogen nitrogen in that in your uh, in your pee so which is good for the plants does your rig start oh if your rig starts and revs up or just when you go to take off in it it just doesn't have any acceleration that's all you said it had two inches well it's it's the same because I haven't been using it man you gotta remember I've been using a bucket so. I'll still use the bucket. So I, I'm, I, my Chris took my trash out, so I'm good there. So I'll get two new bags. I'll, I'll be good for a couple. Well, let's put it this way: I gotta get, I gotta get um, somebody to get the. Um, I'm not gonna mention the name, but I'm gonna get the, uh, the forty-two, uh, not quart, the forty-two gallon. Um, Barker and dump the tank in it and, and we'll do that. I'll have to put some some antibacterial soap in it too. So that'll help it when I go to dump it. Then I just gotta I don't know, I gotta see if I'm, hopefully I can get in his car. Because we gotta make we gotta have a ramp and we gotta get it in his car and see if we can get it in there. So that's the big scoop there. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear. No, it's not the transmission. No, 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 no. Transmission's good. I just, hey, I just spent, I just spent three thousand dollars on the transmission. No, it's not the transmission. I did all this stuff uh, last spring when I went up the flag. I I did a lot of work on the on the thing. So, and it ran good, man. It ran perfect going up the hill. So Chris has a. Cute dog. Is that a? It's a. It's a little. It's a little. It's a little um, poodle. It's a, It's like a miniature poodle. Toy cup poodle or something like that. It's a good dog. It's a nice dog actually. He's good. You know. He's very good. Well. Well polite and very polite dog. Uh, so, nomadic says to pee in into the black tank to avoid. Uh, solid waste to not be so, so well no there's plenty of piss in there that's already been mixed Janice I'm aware of that I you know I I, I watch some of his videos I don't watch them all I just talked to him uh, I sent made a comment I didn't really talk to him but I have talked to the guy in in, in the past but this is why we don't know what's 
going on with you because you tell us one thing, then it changes. For instance, you said the black tank only had. Well, it's because I haven't been using it. I've been using the uh, the uh, I got. You gotta remember, I got two uh, buckets. But I did look at some other videos on uh, composting today. Why did dirty people get banned? Dirty people. Dirty people got banned in here? When did that happen? I didn't do it. Man on the Silver Mountain. I think you're a new guy, aren't you? New? You're new? Hold on a second. What do we got here? We got Skunk. Let's see. In a nomadic Fanatic Quartzite video sucked. You know, I guess he went back. He left Scottsdale. He was hanging in Scottsdale. He went to the he went to the ritzy he went to ritzy places uh, you know in Old Town Scottsdale which is that's you know that's over overdone everybody's done all that maybe not you know he's one of the very few no, uh, nomad people to cover Scottsdale actually I guess I can give him credit for that but I can't give him credit too much I can't give him a whole lot of credit but I give him some but. I saw your comment on uh, Blue Wave. Yeah, I left. Uh, I talked. I didn't. Talk, you know, I've talked to Blue Wave uh, before. Yeah, I did. I did talk with those people. I, I'm. I've got a good kind of relationship with those guys. Katie Davy has been using the the parking lot as a toilet. Ha! <laughs> Not. I. Be, all I'm doing doing is throwing pee in the part. In the actually, I was throwing pee in the tree. There's a tree planted there and I, I was I basically it was getting watered so it got more water than it normally gets so so every day it got watered I could say that much you have big fingers and always block the wrong people yeah my fingers are big yeah 17 people not did you get up and up and running I, I pulled my muscle on my back of my leg so I see is nomadic fanatic a boy or a girl? He's a he's a man, for God's sake. Yeah. Just waiting for the tow truck driver to arrive. See, I hate this. I see I, I tried it I tried at five o'clock to get this tow truck driver. And then the first one I wasted probably 20, 30, 40 minutes because they got me the wrong freaking number. The guy transferred me somewhere else. Urine is fertilizer. Yeah, urine. If you just mix urine with water, um, yeah, it's it's or urine with um, uh, what do you call that stuff? Um, anyway, urine with water is 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 good for the plants. It's fertilizer. Yeah, like a like. Let's say I get out to my, you know, I get out to northern Arizona. I can water trees with it. It'll work just fine. It's okay to walk a dog, so why not a? Why not walk a human? So Chris didn't get it running. We got it's been running. It runs. It just don't have acceleration. That's all. I mean, if I could get it up to like fifty miles an hour, I'd have been good. But I, it won't go any faster than 10, 15, 15 tops. I. I'm not going to go, you know, under, there's a ramp that you got to go under and try to climb up on the other side. There ain't no way I'm going to make that, so I ain't going to try. So I got the tow truck. It's free anyway, not costing me anything. It's a free ride. I get like, what, five, I'll have four, four toes after this. Four toes, 100 miles on each toe. So we're good. So fuel pump didn't, fuel pump didn't do it, nope. You did the fuel filter. Um, what is it? There's uh, I, there's um, somebody mentioned something about the uh, um, what it could uh, what else it could be too. I'm trying to see what they said here. Hold on, let me see if I can read it. Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm trying to read it. Let's see now. Trying to read it. So far, I'm not coming across it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I can't find it. 
can't find it. Let's see. Let's see. I can't find it. Nope. Nope. Can't find it. Let's see. Yeah, did it start after you after you filled up last? Yeah, yeah, of course it did. Yeah, crank sensor. I don't know. Water in the tank. Water in the tank. No, there's no water in the tank. You mentioned a couple things that I don't know. There's a cranks. No. Uh, you know, I don't want to start... I, You know, I could replace 100 things before I get to the right thing, you know? I don't want to do that. That's why we're going to get... Uh, I'm going to get the vice to pull up the codes. So, I I drove it, up, drove it up the road. I didn't have a light come on, so I don't know. Usually a light comes on. You know, when that's... Yeah, that's usually when you pull up codes. You got to wait for the light to come on. Then you try to test for codes. But when you got no light on, it ain't going to show nothing. It ain't going to show not one iota. So. No, it's not bad gas. I farted in the tank and now it's running bad. Maybe that's the problem. Try dry gas. Try some dry gas. We'll figure it out. Yeah, give Chris. Gotta let get Chris to get some sleep, man. He didn't have any sleep. Let him get some sleep first, you know. So I'll give him a break, you know, because he was up all last night doing working on that thing, the whole entire night. So yeah, he he needs some sleep, and his dog needs some sleep too. So. I got the fuel filters replaced. The fuel pump's been replaced. Doing the same. Let's see. Replace both. I got the fuel filters done. And doing the same as yours wouldn't go over 10. Wouldn't go over 10 miles an hour. It's, it's exactly what. So what did it come out to be, Ken? What was it for you? What did it turn out to be? I'm going to wait for. Wait for your response here. Waiting for the response. Let's see. Sleep won't help you. Poop. You know, every vehicle, you know, it, every vehicle you'll ever own will take money. You know, it will always use money. You could go spend $100,000 on a vehicle and you're still going to spend money. There's my roadside. Hold on. I'm going to lose you guys here. Hold on. <laughs> 